Hello guys, uh, welcome to part two of my video on how to, like, the basics of the FPS Creator. Um, this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to add uh, player entities that you're going to be killing, um, weapons, and also, um, <laughs> and also a player start so then you can start off. So now what we're going to do is um, we're going to add player enemies, like player entities as enemies. So under World War II, you can go under any of the packs, but you want to go under characters. And as you can see, you will have all of these uh, of all these characters. Now if you read, there's Officer, and he has a, and in uh, brackets there's Bazooka. Um, whatever is in the brackets is whatever they have. Uh, there's also one that's un, unarmed, which, you know, unarmed. Um, right now I'm just going to get some ones with, uh, let's say we want a U.S., or let's say we're going to be going up against the, uh, the German, the Germans, I don't know if they're SS, or Wehrmacht, or I believe that's how you spell it, Wehrmacht, or say it. Um, anyways, we're going to go under the one with, uh, machine gun. And so we're going to add these player entities into the game by just clicking on the entity and then just basically left clicking and place it. We're going to add a whole army right here. What you can also do is right click on one and it will load up all of the entities that it has, you know, all the scripts that they will have and it says has weapon and then what you do is that you just double click on it you know what you do is that you just click on the down thing here and then you just click on what you want them to have in this case I'll have them, I'll have this one have a Tommy gun okay and can take weapons so let's say if you place weapons in or like on the floor they can actually pick them up if it's said yes um, take weapons ammo and has one so then they only pick up one piece of ammo rate of fire which is 85 uh, 85 bullets per minute I believe uh, shoot um, so then this is where they shoot or something or who they shoot at uh, view cone angle I don't know what that is but um, spawn and start yes and you can also have them so they keep on respawning back and the physics, everything of the sound, you can have them set for male or female uh, static mode, this must be off static mode has to be off because if they're on as yes if the static or is on as at yet or as yes um, then they will not move if you approach them they will not move at all um, and, and, and they would just stay there, they're static and now you can apply changes, apply the changes into the game. Now we're going to take these same guys here. We're just going to press R to turn, turn towards this way, and place a whole army right here, like that. Now what we're going to do is just since we have our army in place and they have all their weapons all figured out and everything. <coughs> we're going to start um, putting some weapons out for us, you know, for us to use. Um, so we're for, uh, before we do this, we're going to select the player start. So select the player start, like just look around to where you want to spawn at. But me, I just want to spawn right behind this tank here. So now what you want to do is go m under markers and go player start. And as you'll see, you'll see a green arrow now, and you just want to press R to rotate it to where you want to spawn. So I want to spawn right there. Now, I'll spawn facing that direction that the arrow is pointing. Um, now we'll go into, um, like, Entity, Add New Entity, and then we'll go under Guns, you know, for some guns. So in this case, since this is a World War II type uh, game, we're going to go into some of the guns for World War II which is under items. Um, in this case we're going to have a um, MP40. 
what place the MP40 and where we spawn, like right in front of where we spawn. And we're going to need some ammo for that MP40, which we'll have right here, MP40 ammo. Just place these around here. Or what we can do is click, right click on the gun. As you'll see, it'll zoom in on the gun. And, um, and you can, you can, um, you know, increase the accuracy or decreases or increase the reload quantity or not, which that's the thing that can hold in one clip. Um, so, we'll see how much we have here. Um, ammo. This is the quantity of ammo that the gun has. You can have it set to whatever you want at start. For me, I'm going to have it set to uh, 60. So it already has 60 at start. So it has 60 in the clip. There we go. Now we have our player start, the guns, the men. Let's see here. Oh yeah, we have, still have some time. We can add some more stuff. And we'll go back into markers and I'll teach you guys some of the uh, kind of QB looking things here. Heal zone. So let's say if you are making a multiplayer map, uh, which you can actually do that in this game. Um, let's say if you have your spawn point and then there's the enemy spawn point, or the opponent's spawn point, you would like to put the heal zone in your spawn point, right? Like even on single player, you want to put the heal zone at your spawn point. So if you're low on health, what you do is say just go back over to your uh, where you put your heal zone and then it will start healing you. Hurt zone, that's where you will get hurt if you walk into that zone. So let's say if I have a hurt zone over here, if I went in, or go into there, it will hurt me. Wind zone, wind zone is where the game will end, like I'll add a couple wind zones in the back here. And when I walk into those, the game will end. Trigger zone, trigger zone is like, let's say if I were to um, put a trigger zone here, if I were to walk into that trigger zone, um, but what I need to do is when I put that trigger zone down, I need to right click it to where I would have to select the entity on the map, and what it will do is if I go into that trigger zone, it will, let's say if I have it set to the entity of this door right here, it will open up this door, and so then I can just walk in. Sound zone, this is where you walk into the thing and then you'll start hearing sound. Like let's say if you recorded your voice um, for your game and it's like, it's describing, the, it's telling the person what they should do. Um, you would have some sound zones all around so that it triggers that sound. And what you do is that you go into the properties of this sound zone, you click your sound that you want. Next up is your story zone, which um, when you walk into there, uh, a movie or a video will pop up um, showing you about that level or something to do with that. In this case, we just put down two wind zones right there, and I'll put down three, just to be safe. Um, and then all these lights up here, this you can actually add to a room. And what it does is that it you know, add some light. So let's say if I want a red light, so to indicate that this is an enemy place, we put the light here, and this is the or the circle that it's in here is, is uh, the area that affects. Uh, oops, I accidentally went down a couple layers. This is the area that it affects. So if I were to, I don't know how to exactly tone down it or tone it down. Um, I forgot how to tone it down. Um, but anyways, you can actually scale this down a bit, so I forgot how. Um, but anyways, what you do is that you just click on where you want it to be. Like, let's say if I want my light to be right here, where it only affects the room. What you can have it set to, alright, let's say if, if we were to walk into this room, let's say, um, we'll see a red light in this room. Let's say if I want it to be flickering. What you want to do is right click your little light source that you have. And under static mode, as you will see, it's, you know, you can make your own color for it, by the way. 
Under static mode, you will see it's yes. If you want it to flicker, you want to set it to no. In this case, it will flicker. And you just go apply changes, and you're done. Um, there's different types of lights. Player checkpoint. I tried using the player checkpoint, it didn't work. Um, although you can use your player checkpoint, you set it right there, and then you can set it so then it corresponds to a different zone. Um, and I believe that's it. So I think we're going to go test our level now. Um, you want to go to the top where it's the test level things, and then this test game uh, window should pop up. It'll be loading. It'll seem like it's loading your game. You just want to wait till it's done loading. Um, just to tell you guys that this engine, this engine actually does make the uh, make the sound of the game like pretty, pretty freaking loud. So I suggest that you guys turn down your volume if you have it um, all the way up and initializing player. So we'll just wait for this. And once it's done, it would usually uh, this OK button. It would not be blanked out like that. So it'll say, click OK to test the game. So you want to press OK. Your screen will go black. I don't know if I'm recording this right now. I need to review it over the video uh, later. But I'm just going to test this out just in case you guys do can see it. As you can see. Um, here's some of the dam here's one of the damaged tanks. And I picked up my gun and my ammo. As you can see, this building's pretty low and it doesn't have a roof. I forgot to a roof. We were to go up to the store, as you can see, it's press it says press enter to use. Just enter and here's all these guys. They will start shooting at you and all that when uh, you get close to them. As you can see, you're losing health up at the top. You want to shoot them. Some of them won't move until you get to a certain distance, which I believe that's why that other thing would, or this one script was there for them. Um, you know, just keep on shooting them. And, yeah, I just keep on shooting them. I don't know if you can hear me right now. If you guys can barely hear me. Now what we'll do is that we'll go into this room here. As you can see there's the red lights that we're talking about. I don't know why it's not flickering. Usually it's supposed to flicker, but um, for some reason it's not flickering. It's, it said it would flicker if you set the static mode off. Um, as you can see, I'm just going to go to the wind zone. So you can see if I go back here, the level will end and it will put us back into our game. Um, I don't know if you guys seen that or whatnot. Um, hopefully you guys did. But yeah, um, next tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to build your game into a game executable and having it run. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial. See you guys later.